up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing absolutely amazing today in this video i am going to be sharing with you guys some new in items that i have specifically for my home so of course we're in quarantine we're all stuck in the house still for those who need to hear this we're still in a pandemic okay okay but anyways, um, I've obviously been spending a lot more time in the house and I've just been revamping my space and just buying small things here and there that just make me feel more cozy at home and just make me feel more comfortable at home because I'm someone who just thrives off of a good vibe in my home. I know a lot of y'all are gonna ask if I'm gonna do a home tour, and yes, I will be doing a home tour. I need about one or two more things to finally um, come in that I've ordered so that I can do a tour of my living room and also my kitchen. Not gonna do my bathroom, not gonna do my room because if I'm being honest, they ugly. I haven't done anything with them so maybe I'll do like a decor series of those rooms and just give you guys a tour of my living room and my kitchen without further ado let's get right on into the video I have been wanting to revamp my pillows for a while but pillows can actually be very expensive the pillows that I have on my couch were I want to say 35 37 dollars i did get them from target so two pillows cost me like 70 bucks and i just wasn't doing that again so what i decided to do was actually grab some pillow covers which just makes all the sense in the world i don't know why i didn't do this sooner but you know you live and you learn so i grabbed these off of amazon and i love them so much when i tell y'all these pillow covers have just changed the whole vibe and aura of my couch pillows really add character so depending on the pillows you have your couch gives off a different character they're extremely soft these things are ridiculously soft and it's just like this ribbed corduroy material and i got this material because it's nice it's cozy i just feel like corduroy is an extremely cozy fall material i probably will switch these out for a linen material something a lot lighter and crisp in the spring and the summertime it came in a pack of two for only 20 bucks maybe like 19.97 or something i don't know of course i'll link them down below but amazon is the plug when it comes to pillow covers because this was a lot cheaper than buying two more $70 pillows. Something else I grabbed off of Amazon were these super cute glass mugs. Talk about aesthetic. Talk about just classic. Mugs with quotes and things like that are really cute. I have some of those, but I wanted something that was just more aesthetically pleasing in my home, which is why I picked these up. I will say, I thought that they would be a little bit thicker than this. Um, the cup itself or like the glass is kind of thin, but based on the reviews on Amazon, it didn't look like the glass cracked from anyone putting super hot drinks in it. The actual product page shows people putting hot drinks in it and showing it actually like on a boiler plate. So I'm pretty sure I won't have any issues with this, even though it is kind of thin, but just, Let's just admire her for a second. Let's just admire both of them for a second. Off of Amazon, I grabbed some coffee table books and these are all Kinfolk books. If you guys have never heard of Kinfolk, you, you need to be following them on all the social medias. And they make books and magazines based off of different topics so i got one that is kinfolk home and this just provides a lot of just like inspiration from interior designers all the home inspiration i also got this one which is kinfolk entrepreneur it basically just has a bunch of inspiration in here uh, and stories about different entrepreneurs all around the globe and just stories on their craft, how they started their business, like all kinds of stuff. 
And lastly, I got Kinfolk Table, and this one just has a ton of recipes. Again, just from people all around the world, different chefs around the world, people that cook just in general, and the tablescapes, the stories behind the food, the stories behind the people that cook the food, it's just magnifique, if you will. Um, so this one I do keep in my kitchen just as like a cookbook, but the other two, these two, I do keep on my coffee table as just like coffee table books. They're great for when people come over and I don't know, I just feel like they pique people's interest and people love kind of just flipping through them and just looking at all the amazing visuals and just all the home and lifestyle inspiration. Speaking of coffee table books, I also finally got a coffee table. Why in the world I have been living here for two years and never got a coffee table? is unbeknownst to me, but I finally got a coffee table and I am in love with this coffee table. It is so gorgeous and so simple and minimal because I've had coffee tables before that I've just gotten tired of because I just got tired of the design. I feel like I'm someone who needs minimal stuff because if I get things that are not minimal, eventually I'm just gonna be like, yeah, I'm tired of that style, tired of that look, and then I just get rid of it. So I wanted a coffee table that could stand the test of my time, and I found this one. It is all glass. My space is pretty small because I live in a condo, and I didn't want a coffee table that would be too big to kind of take up all the space in between my couch and my TV. So this one is a perfect size, but also because it's clear and it's all glass, it gives the illusion or the effect that not a whole lot is really there. Similar to the glass mugs, I feel like the table just gives a high-end luxury vibe just because I feel like things that are all glass just give off a high-end feel. I will say I did purchase it off of Wayfair. This was before I knew all the scandals and all the things that Wayfair has been accused of. So I will put a link of this table from a different retailer just because I don't know if those things are true, but just in case, we ain't we ain't purchasing from there anymore. And since we're on the topic of furniture, I also purchased a TV stand. Again, one of those things that I don't know how I've gone to years living here without having. I, again, am just so infatuated with this TV stand. It is a mid-century modern style and it's like a darker wood tone and it's again something that's just super simple that I will not get tired of. In there I can fit all my books, all my magazines, my speakers, just literally all the things in my house that were just sitting around and just an eyesore, I can just throw in there. I literally also just put all my dog stuff in there too. There is a lot of storage space in this TV stand, which is another reason why I love it so, so much. And crazy thing is I bought it from Walmart. Why did nobody tell me that Walmart is the place to go for furniture? I'm mad at whoever knew Walmart was the place to go for furniture and didn't tell me. I'm mad at y'all. And next is something that you guys probably saw already in my black owned business video. If you have not seen that, sis, bro, what you doing? Go watch it. But anyways, I got this photo from C in Black, which is a collective of black photographers that are really just looking to change the narrative of black life and black people and black culture through art and through their photography. So I've talked about this photo already on that video, so I'm not gonna harp on it in this video. However, I am someone who is obsessed with black skin and just like melanated skin. And having that in a picture, in art form to put in my house is just, again, 
all the vibes. And last but not least, I got this plant pot from TJ Maxx. If you've seen a number of my videos and you've been watching me for a good little minute, you will know that I am a Maxinista. I love me some TJ Maxx. I recently made a video of all my new plant babies. I have like seven plants in this house now and they all need cute little homes. I really like white plant pots just because my home just tends to be darker because I have exposed concrete as like my main wall but also my ceiling. So I like to bring in whites just to brighten up the place and I feel like the sun reflects off of white. So I'm trying to find a lot of white plant pots to put around my house just to give more light to reflect on. I don't even really know if that actually works, but it seems to be working, so we're just gonna go with it. I really like the detail on this pot because it's, again, super minimal, just a white pot, but then it has these little, almost crater dips in them that just creates a nice texture. So that's something that I really like to do when I have minimal pieces, is look for pieces that have a different sort of texture, even though the actual piece itself is a very minimal design because that just adds a little oomph to the space, if you will. So that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I also just hope that it gave you a little bit of inspiration to make your home cozy yet elevated just like you're living in your own dream Pinterest board. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe if you have not already and make sure you turn on the notification so that you know every single time I upload a video and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.